Hello everyone and welcome to a new SketchUp tutorial using RRender NXT. Today I'm going to show you how to use lighting channels in RRender NXT to create awesome looking renders of your models. Um, so uh, to explain you the concept of lighting channels I've decided to build this model which you can see at the moment and I've added several lights. In the previous tutorial I've explained you how to add lights to your model in SketchUp so if you don't know how to do that yet I'll um, yeah, put the link of that uh, tutorial in the, uh, in the description down below. Um, but now I'm first going to render this image to show you uh, how I can adjust the lighting in the room. Alright, so the room rendered, now I'm going to show you how you can adjust the lighting channels of the uh, render. You can do that by clicking on this icon over here on the top of the uh, rRender interface. And then you see this uh, pop up. And this is actually the lighting channel menu. Um, and as you can see, these are all the lights. There are um, eight channels in total which you can have. Um, and if you have less light sources, you will have less um, lighting channels, but eight channels is the max and you have um, them marked from 0 to 7 and um, now we want to identify which ones uh, which lighting channel belongs to which light so I'll turn off the sun and the sky and as you can see it's now dark but you see lights but which light belongs to which lighting channel let's just find it out by just putting them off and then putting them on again as you can see that's what I would call the I think I'll call them lamps well should type that correctly um so which are these there we go the tv other i'll just call them the names don't really matter but they are for, uh, just to make clear to you which um lighting channel actually belongs to which light so i'll just give them a name as you can see you can easily do that by just you know typing it over there and then later I'll actually adjust the brightness of the light uh, to make sure that it fits nice because as you can see the image is still pretty dark um, so I'll just call that TV lamp and then the last one must be the small little light we have under here uh, of the TV or actually the audio box under the TV so I'll call it audio box there we go but as I said the lighting isn't like really good right now because they're not adjusted to each other the, uh, some should be a little bit lighter because of course it would be good if the sun and the sky are on but they are not so we have to adjust that um, so I'll, you can adjust them by actually clicking on these arrows here um, you can adjust it to up to uh, four digits so like really really you know clear and really precise actually that's the word i meant um but i think this is a good brightness for that lamp um then we have the tv they shouldn't be too bright i think because otherwise it distracts you when you watch tv as you can see i also added some reflection on the table and the floor if you want to know how i did that i'll make a separate tutorial of that uh so if you want to know that i'll um, yeah, I will just make that so if you wonder what it is you can check it out um, But anyways now let's continue with lighting channels as you can see here. We have the TV So let's put it a little bit brighter. It's not as bright Currently there we go. I think that's a good brightness and then we have the ceiling ones Which really have to actually light up the room There are very many of them and they really make the lo room look much better. I think Yeah, I think this is pretty realistic. It shouldn't be too bright because that's not that realistic either. I personally don't really think that gives a good atmosphere. Maybe if you want to build like a factory, you could actually uh, turn the lights like full on. So um, we have that little TV lamp over there. Let's brighten that up a bit, but it doesn't have that much impact. And that light over here. Yeah, it's okay, I think. You can also turn it off by clicking these arrows, but I think you've already noticed that because I did it um, yeah, a few times. So now I'll show you how you can actually uh, in SketchUp make sure that your light belongs to the li uh, right lighting channel because as you can see you know which light be belongs to which lighting channel but how do you make sure that that light does belong to the lighting channel I'll show you right now and for that we have to go back into SketchUp again. So right now we're back into SketchUp um, and I'm going to add another light to show you how you can actually uh, make sure that a certain light is added to the right um, lighting channel. 
I'll add a rectangular light um, to the side of the wall over here and how you can actually adjust the light I've explained in a previous tutorial but it, it's all about this part over here the lighting channel part and I'm going to say that it belongs to lighting channel 7 and I remember that that is the one of the audio channel so if the audio box gets brighter or that little light we had on there this light will get brighter as well so create place and I'll put it on there and I'll shortly render it again and then uh, you'll see that that's just a way how you can actually make sure that a light is connected to the right lighting channel. Alright so the image is now rendered as you can see and it's at a little bit of a lower resolution because in that way the rendering didn't take as long and as you can see we have this light over here and now we're going to prove that that light is indeed on lighting channel 7. So I'm going to turn all the other lighting channels off and as you can see the only lighting channel on is the one with the audio box and this light over here on lighting channel 7. So as you can see that's the way how you can actually um, make sure that your light is put on the right lighting channel. So if you're going to adjust it in Iron and NXT it is put on the right lighting channel. So if you adjust a certain category of lights you it does actually work. Um, but anyways, that's all I wanted to say or explain in this tutorial, um, which was about lighting channels. I hope you found it um, yeah, helpful and enjoyable. Um, so if you did, please let me know in the comments down below. And then I hope to see you back in another tutorial. Bye.